I asked if you wanted to kiss. No, damn. Why don't you want to kiss? kiss Jack. We're going to make no, up. No, no, no. Just no, no. make up doesn't mean we're going to make out. We don't want to make out. That's like a peck. No, I've never, I don't do well, acts on camera. That's what I'm talking about! Fair play to this man here, and I think he dodged a bullet as well. I'm pretty sure this is the girl that stabbed her boyfriend. So he wasn't trying to get stabbed. And the craziness doesn't stop there. This girl literally sells her bath water and she's making racks off it. Right now, I've been selling my bath water a lot. Oh, yeah, cool. Remember, I did a video with Daniel Mack and he was like, your bath water? I'm still doing that, everyone. <laughs> just like, well, you're just selling bath water these days? You bottling yeah. up? No, yeah, like you sometimes bubble, sometimes Epsom salt. How much does uh, 12 ounces go for? 12 ounces. I try to sell up everything for like 500 to 1,000. So 1,000 bucks for 12 ounces of yeah. water? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's always good. That's always a great way to spend money. No, yeah, and You can donate good. to like a charity. Yeah. Instead of going to buy 12 ounces of GDX of bath water. <laughs> well, why would you not? I've actually never thought about that. Do you think they're drinking this, you think they're <laughs> drinking this bath water? They're probably drinking it, bathing in it. I never thought about that. You think they're drinking it? I'm sure they're bathing in it. You think they're just chugging some GDX and bath water? I would. Why would you not? It's like holy water. But... Oh, okay. This is one of the things I don't understand. Why the hell do guys buy bath water from a girl? Like, she probably just run that under the tap and sold it for a grand. You just got finessed. If you're buying bath water from a chick, you need to really reconsider your life options and your mental state. I really hate it when men are like, if I'm paying all the bills, then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house. I should come home to a meal. Um, Miss Man, if your man is paying all the bills, he absolutely should be coming home to a homemade warm meal waiting for him on the table when he is ready to eat. And not only that, his house should be spotless and you should be very appreciative of it, waiting for him at the door, looking your best, ready to give him that Gok Gok 3000 throat goat. Wow, what a feeling. But carry on. Motherfucker, if I wasn't here, you would still be paying the bills. <laughs> the things that you do that you consider is for our marriage, you would be doing if you were single. Okay? What? Yes, you're correct. As an adult, we have to pay bills. But if you have a man that is paying bills and you are now included in that man's life, those bills multiply. So, I don't really understand where you're coming from when you're saying that he would have to pay bills regardless if you're there or not. You are an added expense. If I went on a date and the woman said all this, man, I'd have to get down on one knee right there and then and propose. This is a good example, guys. This is what you want, I'm telling you. You don't got money to tip your servers? Leave, you know, why come out? It's, I get it, you know, it's, it's something I signed up for, you know. I, I don't expect a tip from you. I'm not gonna look at my check and be like, "Oh, did you tip me or not?" I don't. I don't do that. I'm not like that. But at the end of the day, if I'm I'm sitting here giving you good service, I expect a, a decent tip. You know. That's your boss's job to pay you for your good work. You shouldn't have to leave a tip. That's all down to your choice. You're already overcharging me for these burger and chips. I mean, come on. The more bills a woman pays by herself, the less attractive men become. I just paid three bills just now with my own debit card. Like the independent black woman I don't want to be. <laughs> Sensational. I don't want to be I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? That means independent, motherfucker. I don't want to be independent anymore. You know, I don't want to be a strong, independent woman. I think we have enough strong, independent women. I don't want to be an independent woman anymore. I quit at being independent. I don't want to do this shit no more. This shit is draining. <laughs> Sensational. You know, have dinner ready for your husbands when they got home from work. That is all I want to do. But no, you thought everyone wanted to be independent. I don't. I don't want to be independent. A break from dating, and um, I didn't need a man. She didn't need mine. I'll take whoever. Just like get here ASAP. What an idiot. Oh, what a loser! It's so fucking exhausting and draining to act like everything is okay. Now I'm like, I don't want to be these strong, 
independent woman. I, I, I don't. I can't believe I used to truly feel so empowered by being like, I would never let a man support me fully. It's, it took me two years in corporate America to be like, yourself. I would love if somebody came in here. I don't want to be independent anymore. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm seeing this more and more. There's so many women now who are just regretting buying into all that feminist modern women bullshit. They've been spoon fed for years. When it all goes south, we all revert back to our gender roles sooner or later. A few of my female subscribers, they've been reaching out to me saying, Sam, I'm 30, I'm 27, 31, whatever. I've been the independent woman for the last three or four years. Now I can't find a man. And you know, they're past their sell by date, you know? And now they're starting to regret it. A lot of women are. What is your ideal man's age? 38. 38. Between 38 and what? 40. 38 and 40? Okay, what race? Any race. Minimal height? Um, six foot. Well, six foot. What's the minimal income you want your ideal guy to make? 100K. 100K minimal? Yeah. Okay. So the chances of you finding that are zero. <laughs> Out here in Scottsdale, they're zero to nine. Three. <laughs> Three point eight percent chance of you finding your ideal man. Shut the fuck in the world up. though. In the I'm, world? In the world. Yeah. Can I take a picture of that? Yeah, you can take a picture of it. Still think a 3.8 percentage is pushing the boat out a bit. You know the videos I showed earlier of all these women regretting all the thoughts and decisions and morals they had? This girl's gonna fall under the same category. But women's still traditional today. What does that mean? Define traditional. Pure, low body count, not going out a lot. Women are not no. traditional. Women can do whatever the fuck they want. Would you say that women still prefer a traditional type of man? No. no. You guys are okay with like having protecting the man yourself, providing for the man yeah. yourself? I mean, I'm yeah, aggressor. it's kind of weak anyway, so I feel like women yeah, can do like, the job for themselves. Key, okay, I understand you're saying you do want to, right? But the question is, do you prefer that? I mean, you okay. got me there. <laughs> you got okay, me there, okay, sir. Okay. It's passport time, boys. I'm telling you, it's passport time. Get them ready. This is why dating so hard nowadays, man, because of the mentality of these women out here. But these girls will meet the wall. It's gonna happen. So have you ever had that? He was your dinner guy. You had no interest in him, but he'd take you out to dinner. Yeah, he's actually on here right now. He's in the chat. Yeah, Wait. Harvey took me out to dinner one like a few times oh, with no. no interest. Me and him are like best friends now. Oh, he's okay. like one of my closest friends, yeah. So he's in the friend zone. Oh, he's been in the friend Rip. zone. Candles in the chat for, <laughs> for Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> this is a girl's language of saying they're not interested in a guy is when she says oh we're best friends we're best buddies now man that's a fallen soldier right there i hope this man learned from this he learned the hard way don't be a simp man ain't gonna get you anywhere i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one